We're broadcasting from b and Spring Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. There's some history behind this team, Bricks. 23 years ago, the original Leveland Burns snuck out of Leveland, leaving their fans heartbroken. They relocated to Baltimore and renamed themselves the Razors. But they were based in Leveland, Grim. I can completely understand the move. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Los Angeles Dam take on the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, seriously, man. If you just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! Oh, and he breaks free, and has nothing but open field in front of him. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. The kicker died on that play. Man, that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And he laterals at the last second. Nifty move there. And he just wrestles away from that tag. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, and he laterals the ball to the 
a player behind him. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. Oh, boy. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, oh his head just exploded. First down in less than a year. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. And pass play was good for three yards. Second down and seven. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and five. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. Quarterback unleashes a rocket, caught for the first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First down and five. And the defense jumps offside, trying to mutilate the QB. Now, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? First down and three. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Yeah, you're
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for them. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. First down, so now they have to punt. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Boom! And it's first and ten. QB is dinking and dunking the defense to sleep. <laughs> One yard on that pass. Second down and nine. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. That run is good for 10 yards. Third down, and, well, good luck. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a combo rush at home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Running like a no, oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. 
The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Third down and nine. And that's another turnover for the defense. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. totally uncalled for and that's why we love the mfl and it's first and ten Second down in a lot. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And he's off to the races. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Wow, with the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. The defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. They might catch him. Oh, you fat little mutant. last running back no rest for the weary the last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die first and two and that's just a great run for a touchdown Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Second down in a very lot. Third down and the punter is warming. 
coming up. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. There's a bloody red head on the field. Now that's their red penalty marker, Briggs. Looks like this one's coming back. <laughs> Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. You have got to be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. At this rate, the QB's going to have more interceptions. Than his cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. He's hit the ball. And he, <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, not a grounds crew's going to come out and pick him up. It, it really kills the momentum. They should be a It's first and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second down and nine. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and with another pick to keep... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And the quarterback throws an oh, nice hit. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Let this, let this. He's just shitting. The quarterback defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> 
And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. There might not be an I in team, but this guy's eyeballs are all over the other team's helmets right now. <laughs> oh, man. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rap. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to play like... Oh, boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said! Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease foot, he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. You will never look at my own eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this out, win. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show, sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Roundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. The third quarter is about to begin, and if it's as much of a blowout as the first half was, we may see a riot in the stands. Well, that's going to happen either way, Grim. It's a $1 Red Bull crap and vodka jello shot day. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Shit house. And it's first and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Pick up 
a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And that'll bring up third and one. Winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. down and long and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref they say we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore <laughs> third down and never going to happen Gets the quarterback for a sack. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. You know, you gotta put the buzz saw in the MVP conversation, Briggs. Got more kills than anyone in the league right now. Yeah, you make a good point. And it's first and ten. is your brain and the QB know what he could go all the way he's at the 20 he's at the 10 touchdown and he rips off a game breaking run for the score Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And he just slipped away like a... His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. The 30. The 20. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down and a lot. And another interception. This oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. See that, little baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And 
It's first and ten. Touchdown saving tackle right there. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. I was scared of Zimmer. I am a hell of a fellow. Second down in a mile. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Ah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Not many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grant. Straight through the uprights. Hey, man, he's going to hit her now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and five. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. You can't keep a good meal. The 20. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the first set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Second down and long. <laughs> and that pass play is good for eight yards. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt! Should move them back nicely. 
Just and he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps on side to the tech, the QB. This guy can talk before he died. What do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. Wrestling? And that'll be second down and four. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. his way out of he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way and he breaks away he's leaving it all out on the field today and there's his large intestines over there his liver i think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat no that's a gallbladder ah my bad he intercepted the qb's pass and returns it for a touchdown if you get one more bullshit penalty you get one more for free you also probably lose the game just do the attack ref dirty trick It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. First down and six. Second down in a very lot. He refuses to go. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And that'll bring up third and one. That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. Kickers are dead, so they're sending out a guy who hasn't kicked since college, where he did set a lot of records. Yeah, he holds the record for most consecutive kicks. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. <laughs> when you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay.
signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. And that's it. Oh. Hey, say, Grim, step on a crack, break your mother's back. Step on a mine. Uh, I forgot all the rest of that goes. Yeah, I don't know either, but scratch another player from the roster because he stepped on a mine and exploded his spine. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence. Hey, it looks like we've got a penalty here. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls go. Oh, great throw. Great catch. And that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Brent. You mean aside from driving the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for ten yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey. Only two minutes left in the game. Second down in inches. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And the D takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. That's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. He broke free and has open field in front of him. landmines in the end zone during the dance celebrations. <laughs> Be a lot more entertaining, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. In a hurry-up 
up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And that's a run for no gain. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. The defender says, I don't think so. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Perfect pass and a score! Man, those bones can boogie. The lack of muscle, fat, organs, and skin really makes it easy for the dance. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. The kicker is going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. And the Razors lose their game in their own backyard, which definitely sucks for the fans, especially when your backyard is littered with dog shit like it is around here. The score says it all, but it wasn't even that close. They got blown out at home. Fans left by halftime to forget the game and start watching a new game of bones on NBO. You know, I watched that on my phone, too. Oh, Let's go down to the field and see how badly the MVP rubs it in. Ghost. Ghost. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.